Hi, I'm Jessica. Welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make these wafer paper daisies. For a full list of equipment that you will need, please check out the description box below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe as this really helps me make more videos like this for you for free. To make the daisies, you're going to need some wire. I used 26 gauge. You may want to go a little bit thicker than that. I found that this for the longer ones was a little bit thin, but that is what I used. Um, I, I re recommend you go a little bit, maybe a size up. Some yellow colored gum paste. It doesn't matter exactly what shade you use really, but this is the shade, this is the color. So if you're around about this kind of shade is fine, but it doesn't have to be exact. Um, you're going to need some wire cutters to cut your wire, obviously, because you need to cut it different lengths. And you're going to need some small pliers like these ones. I also used some corn flour and a brush just because sometimes the gum case can become quite sticky and you don't want to get that on your fingers, it becomes quite messy. So um, you don't have to use a brush, but just some corn flour just to keep it, stop it from sticking. I also use some edible glue. You don't have to have edible glue because you can make your own using the wafer paper dissolved in water. If you use just wafer paper scraps and dissolve them in water, it will make glue. But I just have that because it's convenient. Um, also, just a little hack. This is a great way to stop your brush rolling on your table, which, oh my goodness, I have gotten such mess with that so many times. And then I just had this little idea, which actually maybe I've seen before somewhere, but anyway. Um, so yeah, ta-da doesn't roll over. I also used a cutter. You could cut the petals out individually if you don't have one, that's fine, but it's just a little quicker like this. You need some wafer paper. You need a Dresden tool and you need a sponge mat. If you haven't got one, use the palm of your hand. And lastly, you're going to need some dusting powder. I've actually got this color Old Gold, uh, which is by Sugar Flare. And you need just a small brush for that. So uh, again, if you haven't got exactly this shade, just go for something that is similar to the color of the center of a daisy. The first thing you're going to do is make a small hook at the top of your wire. So take your small pliers and bend it right the way around till it almost meets the wire underneath. Take a small pea-sized amount of gum paste and roll it into a ball. If you'd like to see how I've used these daisies, please don't forget to check out my Instagram at Jessica Sale Cake Design. I also have a video of the making of this cake coming up, so don't forget to hit the notification bell. Next, take your wire hook and gently push into your ball of gum paste. I didn't use glue here because my gum paste was really sticky, but usually you would need a small amount of glue just to help secure that hook into the paste. And then you're going to squeeze around the base of the ball, shaping the ball onto your wire. If you find your gum paste becomes sticky at any point, do use some corn flour or cornstarch and remove any excess gum paste from the base of your center. Use 
use a cocktail stick or another sharp tool to create texture. If your gum paste loses some of its shape, just gently use your fingertips to reshape it. And when you're finished, place it in some styrofoam to dry. I'm actually also going to be using this larger cutter. It's from the same range. Um, the uh, Vason Creative, I hope that's how you say it, and it's a 1.5 inch cutter uh, because I want some of the daisies to have longer petals so I'm going to be using this one as well. I think it might be nice to have a bit of a variety of sizes in there anyway so I'm going to be using that one too so I'm just going to speed through that too. Okay, for the next stage, we are going to be putting the petals onto our centers. So I'm going to take one petal and use my Dresden tool just to bring up each petal. So I'm working from the outer edge of the petal to the center of the flower, and I'm just going all the way around. Until every single petal is done. So you need to do that for a set of two and make sure that you are working with the correct side so the flat side needs to be facing up so just check that the bumpy side is underneath and you can do this individually for each flower or you can do the whole lot in one whichever way you prefer working it doesn't really matter. Once you've cut out all of your daisy petals, you're going to take one of your daisy centers and you're going to take one set of petals and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just in the center here. Now, I don't want to put too much on because wafer paper is extremely sensitive to moisture. So if you put too much on, you just get yourself in a mess. So don't do that. <laughs> and I'm going to push through the very center of that flower and bring it up to the top. And I'm just pushing it. I'm going to turn it upside down. You don't need to do that. It's just so that I can show you what I'm trying to do. Let's try and get the focus to focus. <laughs> uh, there we go. I'm just pushing the petals into that flower center. And you can see the daisy is starting to form there. I'm going to just going to do that again on another set of petals. So some more glue. Remember you don't have to have edible glue. You can use a wafer paper water mix and that is fine. Or in fact, you can just use a little bit of alcohol. And through we go. I would be careful just using plain water because 
that can get you in a big mess. Now, this bit is a little bit crucial. So you wanna get the petals to go in between the last set. So you want a petal where there isn't a petal, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn upside down again so you can see. I'm just going to try and line up that with the gaps. So I've got a petal between, can you see? Try and get it to focus again. So I'm placing a petal between two of the last set. So once you've twisted it into place, you can kind of just push it up then. And there you can see you formed a little daisy. And once you've dusted this, it's gonna look really pretty. Okay, for these ones, I'm not actually going to put a calyx because I'm doing a sort of stylized daisy. Um, you absolutely can put a calyx if you want to. Um, just You can just either freehand cut one out or if you've got another of the cutters, that's great. And uh, I would normally color the wafer paper before you cut out. Um, but you can do it after either, again, it's fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of these daisies and I'll speed through that for you and then we can get on to the dusting. <laughs> you here if your daisy is not really sitting how you want it to or it's looking a little bit flat and lacking movement what you can do if if you put a little bit of alcohol so just some vodka in a little spray bottle like this and just give it one very quick squirt you don't need a lot because the wafer paper is extremely sensitive to the moisture and then if you just go round just move your petals just gives them a little bit of flexibility and because it's alcohol it will dry quicker than water so it won't sort of melt the wafer paper quite as easily and it will just dry off more quickly you can just go around and move your petals more into the shape of where you would like them to be. So these two have got a bit stuck together. That's okay, we can just move them apart. And it won't take that long for that to dry. You can see that that is looking a little bit nicer than it was before. There we go. Once your daisies are fully dry, and I do recommend that you do wait for them to fully dry, although I have to say, for me, that is one of the hardest things about making any kind of <laughs> Um, flowers, uh, sugar flowers or wafer paper. It's just waiting for them to dry. But do wait, do wait. So I'm going to put a little bit of our colour on some kitchen roll. I always find, you don't have to put it on kitchen roll, but I don't know, I always find kitchen rolls just a really great, um, a really great thing for putting your dusting powders on. So I've got my brush here and I'm just going to dip that in. Uh, I don't want too much, so I don't want to completely load it. Okay, so this is too much. Okay, if it's looking clumpy like that, it's too much. So I'm just going to brush off some of the excess. We just want your brush to be leaving behind just 
a bit of the color we don't want chunks of color falling off and also you don't want the color to stain the petals we just want it in the center just gently dust on and better just to do it bits at a time rather than get a whole load and risk spoiling your flower and you'll just find that it brings up the center really nicely and gives it a bit more dimension If you want to, you can add layers of other colors of yellow. I'm going for a particular look for this cake that I'm making, so I don't want to go too realistic. I'm going for just more of a suggestion of a daisy, but by all means, if you want to make it more realistic, then um, I would recommend see what different tones you can see in the center of a daisy and pick the colors that you can see in there and layer them up and don't put all the colors all over put them in sort of areas and layer layer on top in areas as well and then you get more of a natural look but if, this time we're going for a sort of suggestion so that's going to be good enough for what i want so i Hope you can see that that's made it a little bit more pretty. I'm actually really pleased with that. That's just how I wanted it to be. Just sort of quite relaxed looking and just delicate and pretty, so. I'm just gonna speed through and finish off these daisies now. Don't forget to look out for my next video where I'll be showing you the making of my cake and please don't forget to check me out on Instagram. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't just watch, get making. It's so much fun, it's so relaxing and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.